I'm going to give you a sneak preview of, uh, oh, wait a minute, of what we've got. So how do I share my screen? The green button at the bottom. There we go, again. Right. Make sure I've hidden everything first. <laughs> Hey, everyone, while while Martin's doing his thing, if you could just like mute uh, mute your uh, mute your your Zoom window, just so um, we don't have any background noise, so everyone else can enjoy it. Who me? No, not you. Everybody else. Right. Okay. Okay. So, can you hear me? All right. Yep, we're great. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put my coffee over there. So, okay, right. Um, what we're going to talk about today is a uh, is my maximal design. Some of you will have attended uh, Joe's um, Weaves conference, and uh, you will have had to have uh, suffered all the way through uh, my torturously slow presentation, um, in which I introduced a few principles along the line of uh, maximal design, okay? So here we have the home page. Now this is a sneak preview. If you go to maximal.design uh, right now, you won't be able to get in, I hope, because it's uh, locked down and requires a password until it's all ready to go. So what you're, what you're seeing today really is a, is a, a sneak preview, okay? so. I'll just run you slowly through the uh, through you know a few of the pages. Uh, as you can see, um, I've given way to a little bit of colour in my site. Um, as you know, I'm usually very restrained in my designs, and, and this site is uh, is no different. Um, so here we have a quick explanation of uh, what. Uh, these uh, maximal design uh, style modules do. And uh, if you don't mind me reading from the uh, page, it, uh, it says maximal design style modules solve a common problem for rapid weaver web designers needing to stand out in a highly competitive market. In other words, how to quickly and easily add real professional style and individuality to projects so that they give you an immediate edge on your competitors. Okay, so that's the, the, the you know that's the core um, the core selling point. Uh, quickly, easily add professional style and individuality to to your projects. And and these modules, at, certainly at this point, are aimed specifically targeted specifically at you guys. Um, in other words, the you know the intermediate, advanced uh, foundation users. Um, now, what these modules are, and in, in a nutshell, uh, again, I'll just read from the screen. Uh, each meticulously crafted module is powered by a combination of big white ducks, most resourceful and ingenious stacks. Um, and of course, you're all uh, um, very much aware of uh, of uh, Tav's brilliant suite of stacks. Uh, so I don't really need to say too much about them, except that these modules are built um, pretty much, you know, apart from a few of Joe's stacks, pretty much extensively uh, with um, Tav's with big white ducks um, suite of stacks. Um, each of the modules is fully responsive, highly configurable, and is a self-contained section of a page that can then be copied and pasted in, in, into any Stacks page. So, you know, more or less, they're, they're not partials, but they, you know, act like partials. You can, you can just uh, uh, copy and paste them, drop them into any page, and they will work right off. And each of these uh, these modules are, are standalones. Has it? Uh, they each have their own individual style, uh, and they convey a professional first impression of a web designer at the top of their game. Okay, that's you guys. So uh, here we have uh, overview. That, uh, that's what I'm working on at the moment, and should have finished uh, 
Saturday, Sunday, if I'm not still moving house. Um, and here is what you get or what you're going to get in the, in the bundle. Now, these bundles um, are made up of, um, as you can see across the top here, uh, made up of five packs and because uh, you know uh, because we're dealing with big white duck then it's very obvious that uh, I should use uh, duck soup as a, as a as a concept to carry the whole um, project and as such we can use the Marx Brothers uh, names for each of the packs. So we got Chico, Harpo, Groucho, Gummo, and Zeppo. Um, so the bundle, um, now the big white duck soup bundle, which is all five of these individual packs, contains a, a 175 modules. Actually, that's a lie. I need to change that. It's 154. Um, each pack, that's, uh, say, for instance, Chico is a pack, uh, contains between 29 and 37 style modules. Um, so each pack contains a project. And each, here we can have a look at the, uh, this, is, this is what you get, essentially. If you buy the bundle, you get Chico, Groucho, Gummo, Harpo, and Zeppo. Right, so in each of these packs, you get a foundation version of the uh, project file and a universal version. Which, uh, to make that um, work, you're going to need uh, to download Joe Workman's free blank theme, and uh, that's the URL there. Um, so, also inside each pack, uh, we have all the uh, images that I've used. In the, in the modules, and these are all optimized, and they all have a uniform width of 1,400 pixels. In most cases, uh, they're 1,400 pixels by 933. And all of these images are sourced from Unsplash, and in the documents here, you can see all the credits for the individual photos. So if you're, if you're looking for particular style of photo, they're all here and credited and they will lead you right to uh, the image. Okay, uh, here we have uh, in the documents folder, we have, uh, again, more instructions, a list of all the uh, applications, uh, plugins and stacks that need to be installed, that have to be installed in order for these modules to work perfectly. Okay, so again, all the information you need there to get you up and running okay and in the chico so it's in, in each of these there's a an overview folder here which has five pdfs and each pdf is a page of the project who's that talking who's that talking at the back anyway each um each each uh, each uh, each of these PDFs can be just brought up on the uh, quick view, and so you can get a quick overview of what modules are available on that particular project page. Okay, so if we if we go back here, here's uh, for instance here's uh, at the Chico. Um, this is the Chico project. When you open up the project file, this is what you get. As you can see here, we have five pages on the left, five pages full of modules. Okay. And uh, once it's uh, previewed, as you can see, um, so you have five pages and um, these, excuse me, these, uh, where's he going? These PDFs, as I was saying, each of these represents uh, all the uh, modules on that particular page of that particular pack, okay? And um, as you can see, uh, some of these are a bit colorful, some of them are not, but all of these are constructed and made with uh, um, um, 
big white stack, uh, big white ducks uh, suite of stacks. Okay, so um, what else do I need to show you in here? Uh, again, like I said, this is this is the overview. This is how I use them, uh, and I do use these regularly uh, when I'm onboarding a, a new client or a situation like that. It, I find these very handy uh, just to put a quick mock-up together, you know, which uh, certainly I find gives you an advantage uh, um, with your clients or a potential client comes to you and says, you know, I'm, I'm checking out uh, various uh, web designers um, and uh, would like to see, you know, would like to discuss what you can offer, you know, you can very easily and quickly put together a pretty stylish, um, well, it's better than a wireframe, so it's more like a mock-up, you can put that together and put it under the nose of your client very quickly, and I've found in that way you can really engage them, you know, before any of your competitors, for instance, come along and, you know, whatever, before they can even do that, if you get one of these mock-ups under their eyeballs, then, you know, I think it gives you a distinct advantage because um, because they're replete with style. They give a, a sense of individuality. They don't look like uh, templates, you know, they don't look like um, you're very normal, you know, you see these sites all over the place, but they don't look like them. And so, you know, right from the right from the start, they, you know, they make your project and your style and your skills stand out. And I think um, I've found that they really help uh, in that, you know, initial onboarding, uh, you know, part of the process, um, you can get them interested, they can start seeing elements of you know their old website or the website that they have in mind they can start seeing it uh you know visually in in in, in these and, and, and like i say if you know they come to you and they're a business um what you can do and that's what i'm going to uh, try and do live now um, and i'm going to do it this way because i haven't, <laughs> I haven't prepared anything so i want to see if this is possible can um, I ask you a quick question, Martin? Yeah, go ahead. Um, all your PDFs seem to be doing, showing the examples, you know, at full screen device website or iPad size. Do you have also PDFs of them in um, mobile size? Because uh, that's a very good point. Who's, who's asking this question? Brian is. Hi, Brian. Uh, you know, I hadn't even thought of that. And because, you know, as you know, the world is moving to mobile first. Yeah. And like this year, I think they said 50% of all mobile, of all yeah. sites were viewed first on a mobile and it's only yeah, going up. And that's the, beauty, um, that's the beauty of these, uh, these modules, Brian, is I've, you know, because I've been working with them um, myself for so long, um, you know, that I've, I've concentrated very hard on making their responsivity um, as easy as possible. And so, um, although I don't have um, PDFs of them in mobile view, I think that's a very good point. And I shall hastily make a note of it and see what I can do, see if I can get them into the, um, into the packs for we release so let me just make a note of that and yeah, that'd be very helpful you know also to look at and see you yeah know, if, oh, if, absolutely, if I'm, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we've often been down this road before about you know designing sites in the group here it's like i've always believed if it's a site that's going to be mainly seen by mobile phones you design it that way first and then beautify it on the way out you know bigger absolutely that's uh, that's the way to do it um and if I okay. well, take a look at this page here, right? So we can have this, uh, you know, I mean, the PDFs that, that, that you're right, that's full screen. So here we are at what, 1500 pixels wide. Let's take it down to, uh, that's, uh, that's about 1100, okay. Uh, we're down to about 711 now. And as you can see, 
Uh, wait a sec, uh, I need to bring this up. Okay, like that. So as you can see, um, they all break down very nicely with a good sense of balance. Um, in some of the images, if they're, you know, if they're big and not um, necessary or relevant on a, on a mobile, then I've hidden them. Okay, quite simply. Um, and some of the layered effects as well, you know, because that's the beauty of, uh, of Tav's uh, stacks is, you know, they give you so much, uh, they give you so much um, scope to, you know, hide each element on, you know, on the various devices. So, you know, as we go through the projects and, you know, I can do that now and just skip through a few of these pages, you'll see that, you know, um, Every instance where I can, um, I've tried to, 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 you know, to live up to my <laughs> claim of design every element. Okay, in this case, I think it's probably over design every element, but um, um, I don't, uh, you know, there's another, there's another strand to my, um, to my yeah, philosophy, I'd like to, if you like to call it that. There's another strand to that that, you know, would become quite evident uh, as we, you know, as we go through the through the site, and and it's, you know, I'm not in any way suggesting that uh, these um, modules, you know, should be used in such a way as you see them here. Um, what I'm suggesting is that we're we used, to, you know, uh, we we pay attention to things that change, to changes. And, you know, we become so used to, you know, the ubiqu ubiquitous uh, kind, kind of rather bland websites that are out there at the moment that all look like templates. Um, that, you know, you, you can find yourself looking at a site that um, you're actually interested in buying or, or something and you're just not paying attention to it because it's... There's nothing really there design-wise that snags your attention and stands out. So, my, you know, the, for me, anyway, the, the principle of these uh, modules is apply, you know, maybe one of these to a page, possibly two. Um, and so the, and then put your, you know, your most important features or most important section of content in them so that, so that, as a section, as a module, it stands out and, you know, it adds a sense of individuality um, to the page and uh, draws attention to, say, you know, whether it's a call to action or, or a feature or a benefit or what have you then. But it draws attention to that because it stands out from, you know, the rest of the content, which, you know, may, may not have such a priority at that particular um, you know, place on the page. So essentially that, that's what I, that this is how I use them, uh, especially when I'm um, doing sites for clients, you know, I mean, um, many people uh, <laughs> have, have asked, you know, whether I, uh, I can design uh, corporate, you know, um, type websites, uh, mainstream and because, because they see the, 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 you know the kind of websites uh, I do for the uh, on the Rapid Weaver community, like the Rapid Weaver Central, and and, uh, and even you know this one here, uh, Maximal Design. You know where um, I use a lot of color and a lot of darkness and a lot of contrast, and 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 and, and nothing and nothing looks like anything you've ever seen before. Um, you know, and, and the fact is that um, I I. I, this is where I get a chance to play, you know, on these sites, uh, my own sites, um, you know, I'm, I, I can indulge in myself and do all the kind of things, all the crazy things that, uh, you know, I can't really do or uh, no, on my own sites. Hey, Martin, this is Joe. How, how, do you, how do you envision people using these? Um, well, this is how I'm going to show you. This is what I intend to show you, or try to show you, just now. I, you know, I, I envisage them using these um, in their normal um, workflow, 
um, like I said just now, um, to to break up the norm, to 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 snag attention, you know, on an otherwise, you know, an otherwise, uh, shall we say, um, conventional uh, kind of uh, uh, content flow. Um, so, uh, and you know, like I said earlier, um, I I tend to to use them quite often uh, in the in, in the initial stages of uh, you know trying to get a client on board. So. Um, so what, what I'm going to suggest now, Joe, mm-hmm. is, um, to give you an idea of the, uh, how I use it in the workflow, is we'll get someone from the audience to, um, to give me a, a client, to give me a client type. I first want to speak up. Client type. Bar restaurant. Restaurant what? bar. A bar a restaurant. restaurant bar. Okay, okay. That's you, cool. you want to talk about mobile use? That's that's all that goes there. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, well, you look at your numbers, and it's all mo- bars, restaurants. Uh-huh. All mobile. It's way over fifty percent. Sixty, wow. sixty-five sometimes. That's over in Hungary. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, let's uh, let's see how I'd go about doing this. Um, let's add a new document. Let's add a new project. Um, project. Okay. Add a new stacks page here. We'll call it. What's the restaurant called? Martins. <laughs> Except for two E's. <laughs> oh dear, I misspelled it. Fartins. Ha! <laughs> okay, so Martins. Right, let's call it Martins. Okay, so probably the first thing I'd do is in each of these, uh, we'll use um, the Chico just to, to get us started. Okay. Uh, a bit of Chico and a bit of, uh, I think, Zeppo. So let me just open up Zeppo as well, somewhere here. Zeppo Foundation. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Uh, save that. Uh, Okay, so what we're going to do here now is uh, I'll just copy, copy the Chico styles and menu. Okay, we'll copy that across. We paste paste it in here. I assume that's the site styles. That's the site styles. Yeah. Uh, okay, that didn't work. So uh, let's try it. Quite often, I, do, I just do this. I just drag a page across from tab to tab, and let's ju- let's just open that up so you can so you can all see it. That's a partial. Now, in each in, in each of the these packs, this is what you'll get. You'll get um, this is just a, a menu, uh, Chico styles and menu. So we can open that up and we will see that it is Chroma Pro. I don't know, you know, that's uh, um, Chroma would work just as well, but uh, I've used Chroma Pro so that um, it covers that particular base. Now we've got site styles here. Now, now a few of the things that you're going to see here, you'll probably think, oh, I haven't seen that yet, but that's because Tav is going to release them in a few days' time. Okay, so this really is a, a preview. So we've got the site styles here that you'll all recognize. Um, when it comes, uh, you can see that it's all set up to Font Pro, although in the majority, and you know, most of you like me will have Font Pro and use it avidly. 
Um, but all of these uh, modules are set up so that every um, header and uh, you know paragraph is actually a Google font. Okay, so you can use one or two. I like to use uh, a mixture of the both in my projects. But anyway, you have the site styles here. Um, here's um, uh, the pro styles with a button plus two master. Um, that's for the menu. Here we have the button bar menu. Uh, there, uh, there's the toggle menu, and that's about it. So you know, that's the, that's the first thing um, you can do. Uh, yeah, you don't have to use these in, in any of your projects, but you know this is again this is for display purposes. Uh, it works perfectly fine. So let's put this into uh the home page here okay so you see i've copied it out of the uh out of the um partial it was in and and just left it like that so the next thing i would do is i would um let's uh, go to zeppo and uh, I, think, um, I think what i want is on zeppo for for instance uh well, what I generally do is I break a page down into three sections. Um, and I make the first section, well, I make the uh, middle section, the, the two middle sections, um, twice the size of the you know, first and third section. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, so what we're going to do here uh, stop me, anyone, if you have questions or don't quite follow. Okay, so I'm going to take this this first section here, uh, which, if we looked in the Zeppo uh, PDF overview, we're on page three. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. Um, so we're just we're just taking this first module and we're going to use that for the top of our page. So quite simply, we're going to copy that out and paste it in here. Okay. Um, then, okay. The next thing that I would probably do in this uh, circumstance is right, let's go this way and. Uh, Let's go to Unsplash and just grab some uh, some images of uh, what was it? Restaurant bar, restaurant bar. Okay, right, and um, let's get a bunch of these. What what kind of bar are we? High class. Uh, oh, there's some nice, colourful ones there. No, sorry. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of images. Um, that we can use. All of, all of these have got nice bits of red in them. So it looks like red is going to be a color that we use uh, as an accent maybe throughout or as a burger stand. It doesn't matter. I mean, as long as we get the right, oh, there's some nice ones. That's a, that's a good bit of advice. Then. Uh, okay, getting a bit, uh, a bit too predictable there. It's, uh, what else have we got? Uh, eatery, did you say eatery? Yeah. Uh, how many pictures have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, let's just work with these for the time being. Okay, so the next thing I would do is I would grab them and drop them onto what, what is it I use here? Photobulk is the app that I use. Um, and I have a setting here that I use, you know, generally for, for most of my optimized images. Uh, so it's going to size them by width at 1400 pixel. It's going to um, step on them maybe half. I could optimize it a bit more. 
Um, yeah, let's do that. It's, it's going to scrub all the uh, metadata um, here. Let's give it a, a new name. Martins begins with one. Uh, resize, optimize, metadata, rename. Let's uh, go for it. Uh, let's add a new folder on the desktop called Martins. Okay, and we'll save the processed images in there. Okay, so we can we can hide that now. And we go in here. We have the processed images. They've all been stepped on. Nice bit. That's 150, 290 pix, um, kb, 86 kb. So that's taking them down from whatever that one was. Um, 356. So anyway, let's uh, now go back to here and. We'll click on on this uh, here. Let's you know banner image there, and we'll use one of these images here to set the scene. Okay, so I'll we'll just put that in there. Um, and we'll put a bit of text in there. Um, should actually be called Alice's Restaurant. You know. Here you can walk right in. It's round the back. Okay, and so previewing, you know, look at that already. A um, few minutes and we've got a bit of style already. Um, so here we've got another image here. We can just drop one of these in there like that. Um, so, you know, that's, that's section one. Um, all, all this text, uh, you could use your own. I'm sure you have your own uh, Laura Mitsum type things, so I'll save that. And then I'll go on to the next section. The next section, uh, we could take a look through these packs, see if we can find something, uh, you know, something we can use, um, you know, for the next section under, um, uh, that one. oh, that might work. Okay, a bit stylish, but yeah, you know. Um, let's go for that. So that's Harpo page five. Okay, so again, open up. Uh, where have we go? Harpo website. We might have to go with that one. Yep. Oh no, there it is, Harpo Foundation. Okay, so. What was that? Harpo page five, wasn't it? And it was about the uh, one, third one down, fourth one down. Okay. So here we go. That's it here. Now, you know, when you do get these, uh, when you do get uh, your hands on these packs, you'll see that each section, each module is contained within a section's pro stack and each section's pro stack has an automatic uh, custom top margin of 10% and bottom margin of 10% just to separate it from its neighbors, okay? Um, in all the settings, I don't use pixels at all. I use uh, percent um, and generally in, um, in, in degrees of five or 10%, uh, just because I like a lot of space, okay? so. Um, so we copy this section, we'll go to Martins, we'll paste that in here. Okay, now um, we've got the text there, we've got a big A, that's probably not relevant, so, you know, M for Martin, you just put in Martin there. Um, now we said earlier, we probably use red as an accent, so we can, we can do that. We click on header pro, we've got a very... Um, low opacity, 12%, as you can see down here. So let's pick a nice bright red, or we could even uh, color pick off one of the, off the banner. There we go, we we'll pick that one there. Uh, comes straight off the banner. Um, so we now applied that to the header pro there, and then we can maybe reduce its, uh, take its opacity down. Let's try it just 20, 24, that'll do, see. 
um, we've got add mileage to your stylage. We could say add, add Martin to your, add Marty to your party. There you go. Guaranteed. Uh, okay, so that's uh, another section. So we've done two sections already. Um, as a you know, as a mock-up, just to get a bit of style together. And if we shrink these down, let's shrink them down to uh, mobile. Uh, there we go. Okay. So it's already style for you, broken down into you know. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect because it doesn't know exactly what your content is going to be, but. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of uh, good spacing in there um, for the various um, devices, well, generally just the, the, the main default uh, devices, uh, and then open it up wide. Okay. And so, you know, already there's a, there's a nice sense of balance there. Can you see it? Um, you know, with the end there, nicely under there. Yeah, I'd probably um, bring it up a bit, I'd like take this top margin off uh, this section pro. Uh, we just say none, which will drag the M up very nicely into this section here. There we go, that, that's much better. Nice use of space. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, not too crowded. So, um, Next, um, okay, you know, uh, we're not dealing with, uh, we're not looking too deeply at the fonts yet, because obviously here already, you know, in this first section, um, we're dealing with uh, three different fonts, I think it is, which is, yeah, that's enough for one page. So, you know, we wouldn't, uh, we would be, we'd be continuing use of these fonts up here, further down here, you know. Um, Although the, you know, the M, you know, that you could get away with using the M there because that's, you know, just a big stylish um, block. But um, here we're using, oh, I can't remember what that one's called. Rametto, they're all Google fonts, Google paid. I think this one is Playfair Display, which is a really nice, cool um, uh, font to use in, in, in you know, in, in traditional sites or even stylish. Cool. Uh, so I see that, um, I think, Bose, Bose speakers, I think they use that on their website, uh, I think it is. Uh, and this one's, uh, I think that's work songs. Anyway, they're all Google fonts, um, which, you know, I think there's some really cool fonts in, in, in Google fonts. Really? And I just got, uh, I just got asked if I want to renew my type kit uh, subscription for another year and I'm seriously tempted not to. Um, mm. But anyway, um, let's move on to the next section. Um, uh, this next section, I, I would think this, uh, I think it's time we had a three column thing going on there because we haven't had one of those, have we? And everyone likes a few three columns, especially for, you know, features or benefits. Uh, what have we got here? We've got Gummo. Um, no, uh, three, no, okay. And as you can see from these quick, um, these quick uh, flashes, uh, you, you can't see there's there's quite a lot of dyna, dyna, dynamics, dynamism going on that you can't obviously uh, get uh, looking at the PDFs. Um, not, if we've got time, maybe later, uh, if you're still awake, any of you, um, we'll take a look, we could use that, couldn't we? Three columns, it's it's nice and white. We can maybe put some restauranty thing in the back there. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, might work later on. That might work later on. Uh, what else? Chico. Anything here we could use? Uh, You can see why I use these PDFs, can't you? Because uh, going from project to project, uh, um, looking for the right module would certainly take uh, 
certainly take ages. And uh, Rob uh, Rob Beatty had a very good suggestion, which I'll be taking up and, and, and implementing at some point. Uh, there's a one, two, three column. Nah, that's too, too pink. Uh, right, so let's just go back to what was that one I was looking at? Groucho. Was it Groucho? Yes. Oh, right, thanks. I'm glad someone's paying attention. Uh, do you remember which one? I think it was. I think it was the last one. I could be wrong. I don't remember which one now. That one. There it yeah. is. Good. Well done, Joe. Uh, so Groucho, page one. Let's go for that. Um, Groucho. Looking for Groucho Foundation. There we go. As he's building this, does anyone have any questions? I think it's, uh, you it's know, this is an interesting, you know, workflow that we're seeing, you know, and he's built a very nice site just by copying and pasting yeah. modules that he's, you know, these pre-made little modules. You know, it's, it's kind of like a project template, you know, that, that are obviously, you know, popular right there, out there, but it's a little bit different because normally project templates are kind of like a theme. These are a little bit different. These are like pre-made little sections that you could just copy and paste and mix and match on your site. It's pretty cool. Um, I, again, obviously, they're you know he's done a lot of work to make them look absolutely beautiful. Um, anyone have any questions that we can you know um, make sure that we answer or things of that nature? Yeah. Uh, I have a quick, Martin. So maybe after this three column section that you're building, maybe you could just yeah. dive into like one module and like one page of one module and just kind of show people maybe a little bit more in depth on, in, in terms of just one of the modules. I don't not okay. go through every single setting because that would take forever probably. Right. But okay. just a, a little bit more in depth after this three column layout that you build. Yeah. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. And so, okay. Uh, but uh, you know, this section again is just for your one, two, threes. Um, uh, what would, what, what would it be in a, in a, in a, in a restaurant setting? It would be, um, Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, breakfast. Because yeah, these could these could all be, you know, menus, couldn't they? Lunch. And dinner. Okay. And again, because we're, you know, I think uh, we'll, we'll make the accent, uh, what was it? It was a nice red, wasn't it? So we'll just, just carry that through. Uh, which one was it, that one? No, not quite. Uh, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, there we go. Um, I think we'll make this text stand out a little bit more. Uh, we'll just make it black rather than uh, what it is. Okay, and you know, we want that uh, again. That's uh, that was number 33, wasn't it? Uh, or well, 49. Let me just take the opacity right now. Okay, now this, this is you know, this is the bit that people consider slow, but for me, this is the bit that I enjoy the most because it, this is where you're actually designing every element and it's the attention to every detail that adds up to the you know, whole effect. And, uh, you know, if you want your stuff to stand out, then you have to pay attention to every detail, otherwise you just look like everyone else. Um, so there already, we've got a few, few colors in there. Yeah, but uh, I, would, I would probably swap that background image out. Uh, as you can see, there's a slight radial three color uh, <laughs> um, gradient going on there. I wonder what happens if I pull that up. Let's let's see see what we really have got going on. You know, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs in these um, uh, in these modules. You know, so that you know when you start tweaking things or like you just see you know moving opacities up and down, you'll you'll see that there you know uh, some little hidden Easter eggs. In this case, it's a green one, which we do not want. So let's, let's make it a bit redder, pull the opacity right down there like that. Okay, so it's barely noticeable. Um, that one will, we'll just pull that out and that one will, 
Oops, not right. Uh, so what do we got? Whoa. Okay. Ah, it's it's all right, but it's 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 probably not um, the way I'd like to keep it. And here we just move. Can you see that circle move? Yeah. That's why I love uh, love these stacks. You can do so much with these gradients and and create so many great effects that you just Let's bring that over there. So in effect, you know, you're just using this gradient to actually um, spotlight that guy over on the left. Uh, try that one. Yeah, see what I mean? And then you can just fade it right down like that. So, okay, we probably added a bit of uh, unnecessary style there, but uh, what the hell? <laughs> um, Okay, well, okay, that, that's that section. Shall we move on then, Joe, and um, show you inside? I'm sorry, I was, I was muted. Um, yeah, I think that's great. I think people really saw the, the potential of, of how these could be, you know, leveraged and customized for their, their designs. I, you know, I think they're, they're really cool. That's why, you know, I wanted to invite you on to, to show them off to everybody. Um, so, yeah, if you just want to pick one, um, maybe you pick one that you've already kind of used on the on the site or you know maybe what one is your favorite and kind of just show people a little bit um, I, I'm not sure how how really useful that is because you know diving into each setting it can just get tedious well, and whatnot. so yeah, I, um, you know, I mean, the the one thing that you know I do um, make very clear perhaps even tediously so in the in the initial uh, uh, introductory uh, video overview that I'm putting together is that, mm -hmm. you know, that these are um, definitely for intermediate and advanced users. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're for people who, but mostly, most of you guys, um, they're for people who really, you know, are curious, who, who want to, uh, you know, improve their um, skills. Uh, they're for people, you know, if, they're not for people who, who need um, manuals or anything like that. They're for people who are curious and who, who like to look behind the scenes and see how things work, which is essentially um, how I learnt Tav's stacks, you know, the big white duck stacks. And uh, as we all know, they're, they're, they've got, you know, so many great options that you can easily be overwhelmed. Um, but I found that um, you're able to do fantastic things with them just by using um, some of the fairly, uh, you know, simple and default or, you know, uh, settings without getting too fancy. And the, mm -hmm. the whole the whole premise of these uh uh, of these style modules is is not so much about um, dynamics and having things moving in in and out. It's uh, it's more about just uh, creating a, a structure for some very uh, simple, obvious uh, style that is uh, that can help you know sections of your project stand out. And uh, so that's why you know we're using Sections Pro here um, to, as a wrapper for pretty much every every module. Um, I'm also using Sections Pro uh, for the banner areas because I, you know, I like to use these in banner areas where, um, as you can see, I'm using them in the background layer here where you can also use a video. Uh, this and I, you know, I always start right at the very back because um, that means I can then add more stacks here. And layer them, you know, that gives me another two layers to put on top of that background layer if I so you know, a, a layer of text and a gradient, which you would just add here. So I'm using the background layer here, um, but then I could use a background on top of that, and then I could use an overlay on top of that. Okay. You know, really what this comes down to is what, I, what I've told people a lot is to really learn the tools that you have in your toolbox, you know, um, you know, there's, especially, you know, Tav has made some amazing things that are so powerful that have so many settings. You can do so many things, right? Um, that it, it really is. Um, it can be, it can be daunting, Joe, and that's the it, thing. It could be, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and 
if someone is daunted with that, just start with the simple stuff, right? You know, and learn and build and, you know, find something and try to replicate it on your own, right? Um, you know, it's a great learning process. That's exactly mm -hmm. what these are. It's the same thing yeah. is, is, is looking at his stacks and, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's taken me a while. It's taken me a lot of this year to learn how to, you know, to create these kind of modules, how to get mm -hmm. the best out of them, how to, um, how to make them quick and easily, you know, for the reasons uh, that, you know, I, I decided, right, well, if they work for me, they'll work for other people as well. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's the principle. And as I was telling Joe um, earlier the other day, that this, you know, there's so much of uh, Tav's settings here, you know, that I don't use uh, simply because I, I haven't had time to get round to them yet. Um, there's a lot I don't understand, but, you know, um, I'm, work, I'm working my way through them. But the idea is always just, like Joe said, is just start with what you know um, and build upon that. Um, and that's, the, that's why I think you'll find these stacks uh, really useful because if you don't already, you know, have a clear understanding of, of, of power or how you can use these stacks um, to the best advantage, then all you have to do now is have the skill, and this, I list this skill as one of the requirements. Um, uh, and, I, you know, there are several skills we could, nah, I won't bore you with them, but I do, like I said, I make it very clear that, you know, before purchasing these modules, you know, you need to understand that you're going to need these skills. And one of the skills that I think is very important to this is the, the skill of uh, learning by deconstruction and reconstruction. In other words, you will be able to look at these um, modules and study how I've used them in the settings here, tweak them um, here, uh, ask yourself, why is that there? And why is that there? I mean, these blueprint is such an amazing stack for um, for responsive design. It is, it is, it is, it's a thing of beauty. Um, cool. Because, you know, I, I always start with this layout uh, medium devices. Uh, if I'm, if I'm um, creating a stack, a, a new, a new module or a new stack, I always start with the medium size uh, and get the settings right for that. Um, I let the medium, I let all the medium settings uh, carry on. In, in other words, for large devices, I just have them all inherit what I set in the medium. Uh, and then once I've got everything under control, uh, looking great uh, at those sizes, I'll then start tweaking them here. Uh, in the top section, which is for the mobile. Okay. Cool. So, uh, you know, that, that's very much part of my workflow. Um, and again, if you deconstruct these uh, modules and play around with them, you will, you know, you will find yourself learning that that is a great way to, uh, to structure into your workflow. Um, it's also worth pointing out that I'm going to be doing um, some more, um, some of these, uh, you know, online uh, tutorial type uh, and help sessions as well. Cool. In the coming weeks, if uh, if these uh, modules prove uh, popular, um, so you know, um, at, at some points, yeah, I'll I'll be. Excellent. Uh, doing doing modules and teaching you as well how to use these stacks here uh, is the sidebar which is again part of uh, the blueprint yeah so, while, while martin's showing this does anyone have any other questions that we can do i know it's he's been going for an hour so martin's probably his voice is probably getting to him uh, um, on sale. sorry When's it go on sale? I mean, when can we buy it? <laughs> that's, a, that's a question I want to hear. Um, hopefully, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm moving house at the moment. 
correct. Um, and I'll be moving house again tomorrow and uh, Sunday. Um, and actually uh, packing up on Monday and then doing the actual move on Tuesday. So I think sometime Monday or Tuesday would be perfect time, wouldn't it? The time for Black Friday and Cyber Monday would be perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See? Yeah, that's true, you know, but um, I, definitely next week. Okay, excellent. And any other questions? Anyone have any other questions? Next week. Cool. cool. So um, let me just. That's good. Cool. cool. Well, I, I'm going to stop recording, oh, guys. Um, just so that we, you know, I was recording this entire thing. Um, oh, really? Yeah. It's two thirty. So th thanks, Martin. I, I you know, um, I, I appreciate you coming on. We obviously, if we have any more questions, we can continue chatting. Um, the hangout will go on for many hours. Um, I just want to stop recording now.